So for the last 26 years, the Boys and Girls Clubs of the East Valley have been filling the bellies of folks with the end result being helping raise money for kids. And this year at the Bon Vivant Celebration at Raw Height, there is no exception. I'm going to be with Aaron Tong here for the next five minutes or so. He's the chef at the Old Spaghetti Factory. This one in Chandler. Brand new. Brand new, but um, it's just one of more than 30 restaurants who are going to be out at Rawhide this Sunday. So um, in just a little bit, we're going to bring in Jake Ulrich, who, by the way, has been working on this Bon Vivant event. But um, can I just say I'm so glad you're in Chandler now. I used <laughs> really to have to close. go all the way to downtown Phoenix. Yep. Uh, we're at 3155 West Chandler Boulevard, south west side of the mall. So. Basically where the Gardunos used to be, yeah. right across. Yep. So let's talk a little bit about what we're making today and some of the ingredients we're making. Um... Um, is it garlic mazithra, it's one of our signature dishes. Uh -huh. uh, mushroom, salt, pepper. Um, What's this right here? Mazithra cheese. It's grated with uh, Romano cheese, 50-50 blend. Okay, so what is like what is the flavor of Mazithra cheese? It's a little salty. That's why we cut it with butter. Okay. Um, it goes really well with pasta. Okay. So. And uh, let's get started on this. Sure. Um, tell me about uh, the kind of the flavors that we're going to taste and where we're going to go with this. Uh, you're going to get a lot of garlic. We're going to start off with about two teaspoons of olive oil. Okay. And uh, the heat on our pan? Uh, high. High. Start off with some mushrooms. Now, when was it? Was it November that you guys opened? No, or? November 22nd. Okay. Yeah, I know. It was right before Christmas, and I thought, oh, my goodness. And I just was over there with my girlfriend celebrating her birthday last month. And first of all, your portion sizes are huge. Yeah. And let me tell you, I ate all of it <laughs> and then some. So. Well, we have a great deal. It's a... Uh, uh, Basically, we, you can get yeah, the whole... You can get whole a dish. Meal, you can meal. get... Um, yeah, you can get a dish, and then you can get the little ice cream at the end, and you can get um, some bread... And it's like ten bucks. Yep. But and how many decades have you guys been in around? Uh, since 1969. That's a long time. Yep. That's a real long time. I'm gonna have you start sautéing some of the primary ingredients, yep. but just tell us real quickly what they are. Uh, we got some mushrooms, some garlic in here. And is this going in at the end? Uh, the garnish. The, pars the parsley is. We have a little salt and pepper. Okay. And some lemon juice. Okay, so Get start going. getting that a little soft. I'm going to bring in uh, Jake Ulrich now, and you are working with Bon Vivant. Yes. Um, this is 26 years that you've been doing this, so you must be doing something right. Uh, yes. Uh, well, I haven't been doing it for 26 <laughs> years, but uh, it's been going on for 26 years. Uh, it's a great uh, event that actually uh, is held now at uh, Rawhide. Uh, out in Chandler at the, on the Gila River Wild Horse Pass uh, Casino Well, I've been area. honored to be a, a kind of a celebrity right. judge right. of the food. For a couple of years this year, I'm letting Andy, because she's such a foodie, yes. participate. <laughs> and so she's going to be one of those. So tell, tell folks what they can experience if they buy a ticket. And really, what you know, you walk through the doors of Rawhide and then what? Sure, sure. You get to experience the little uh, old western town of Rawhide, and then you get to the actual event itself. Um, it's a big, uh, you know, warehouse type looking uh, tent with a, with a lawn area. Uh, it's, it's very nicely set up, has about three to 4,000 people there. There's a silent auction uh, in the middle uh, of the event. What's the big si silent auction item? Because I know there's usually kind of a couple biggies. Sure. One of the, the most popular one that we have is, uh, is, is the Beach Cruisers. We have one that's labeled with the, the Fat Tire logo on oh, that okay. one. And that seems to be the most popular one. But we have, um, you know, some golf bags and golf outings. Um, a couple Probably of a couple vacations. trips in there somewhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a little vacations. I think there's a Sedona trip in there this year. So it's like we've added the bacon in with Good those stuff. mushrooms. So that's going to be. I can already I smell it. Yeah, garlic and bacon. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> um, I, okay, so then we walk through basically each of these tables, and we just get to sample sure. a little bit from 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 every restaurant. Exactly. Uh, each each of the restaurants come prepared with sort of bite size, um, you know, pieces from their restaurants. So you can just go around and um, basically get a whole meal out of uh, bite sizes from a bunch of different restaurants. So or you can go back. Right. Or back to the same one <laughs> and spend the, the whole night there, and which again, is, again. is nice. Yes. I also want to talk a little bit about the importance of this event because you're hoping right. to raise hundreds of thousands of dollars, um, yes. and it goes back to the kids in the East Valley. Exactly, the uh, Boys and Girls Clubs of the East Valley. Um, they actually uh, cater to about forty-three thousand of the youth in the East Valley, so uh, huge, huge deal. Oh, come, come with me over sure. here. So we're going to take. A, let's fast forward over here. We've warmed up some spaghetti. Some spaghetti. Added in what else? Uh, bacon, and then we're going to go ahead and add our brown butter. And by brown butter, I mean, we're just going to stick it in the pan, and it's okay to let it kind of get a little dark. Yep. Okay. It's, it's a fine line. You want to let it smell like hazelnuts. Okay. Once then you start you to smell that, then, then remove it, it from the heat? Got yep. it. Okay. And this, we're just kind of, have you tried this before? Uh, no, actually. I'm kind of excited. Well, 
we might be able to arrange that for all you. Right. We just might. Um, we should mention again that all of the information for the tickets uh, that you can purchase, this is a super fun event. You can take your kids, and they do actually have an entire area that's like a, a kind of beer and wine and spirits. Right. So if that's your thing. Sure, we, we have over 800 uh, of Bash's uh, liquor, wine, non-alcoholic, and spirits, everything is there. So uh, no matter what your preference is, it's a, it's a great place to go and sample uh, the array of uh, opportunity out there and, and figure out which one you like. Mostly we're just excited about helping the kids. Exactly. Giving back to our community and um, we're going to arrange for you to try this out. Okay, so we're going to have you stick around, both of you stick around just because um, you're part of this event that we want to tell you about. At the end of the show, um, we're going to find out how you can enjoy beer, but enjoy fruity beer. I don't know, Andy, if you've ever heard of that before. Oh, it's my favorite ever. It really? Yes. Oh, okay, because I hadn't heard much about it. So in addition to all of these restaurants, there's going to be hundreds of those beers and wines. So we are going to taste some of those fruity beers. And I have a feeling that I'm going to have to fight for my little sit <laughs> because I've got Andy, who's a big fan already. <laughs> all right, Andy.